Hello, grade 9. This is Batul, an English teacher from the Qarb School. In the previous lesson, we read and discussed the article that is about how the Egyptians wrote and information about their system writing, which is called the hieroglyphic writing system. Now, in this video, we're going to answer the questions below. These questions on page 42 and also correct the sentences about the article in question number 5 page 43 now let's start with the first question on page 42 question number one what do the pronouns in bold refer to so do we have pronouns here yes this is the first pronoun they and this is the second pronoun also they and this is the third pronoun they and the last yes this is the fourth them and the last one it what do the pronouns in bold refer to so they in line three refers to scribes they refers to scribes Sorry. and they in line 8 refers to the Egyptians refers to the Egyptians and they in line 11 also refers to the Egyptians here and then in line 22 refers to hieroglyphics and the last pronoun it refers to a symbol a symbol could represent just one sound or it could represent the picture it showed. So it refers to a symbol. Now question number two. What do the underlined words in the article mean? Here we have developed. What's the meaning of developed? Developed means invented. And also we have useful what's the meaning of useful useful means able to be easily used and we also have work out work out what do we mean by work out work out means understand understand work out understand and we also have combination What's the meaning of combination? Combination means a state of being joined in one unit. Question number three. Do you agree with the article that our writing system today is much simpler? Why and why not? This question is up to you. You can share it with the teacher. And also this question is also up to you. Now on page 43, the fifth question, what can you remember? Cover the text and correct the post information in the following sentences. Question number one. The Egyptians developed writing about 16 centuries ago. Is it correct? So what is the mistake here? What is the wrong information? Yes, the wrong information is about 16 centuries ago. 16 centuries ago. So what is the right sentence or the correct sentence is the Egyptians developed writing about 6,000 years ago, not 16 years, centuries ago. Two, scribes, scribes decorated their temples with clay. Did they 
decorate their temples with, with clay? Is it correct or false sentence? So it's not correct sentence. And here's the mistake. With clay. Is it, it was it decorated with clay? No. The answer is hieroglyphics. So they, the, the scribes decorated their temples with hieroglyphics. Now three, before they discovered papyrus, the Egyptians wrote on clay. Did they wrote on a, did they write on clay? No, they didn't. They actually wrote on papyrus. So this is wrong. What is the right sentence? The right sentence is the Egyptians didn't write on clay. They didn't write. Question four, people wrote hieroglyphics only in rows. Did they write hieroglyphics only in rows? No, they wrote hieroglyphics in rows or columns. Rows or columns. Question five, sorry, sentence number five. You should read symbols in columns from left to right. So what is the wrong here? In the case of a column, you must read from top to bottom. Yes, in case of the column, you must read from top to bottom. But in case of rows, it's from left to right or re right to left. Six, symbols could have more than one meaning. No, each sample had up to three meanings. Now open your activity book, page 32, and let's answer the exercise number six. Read the clues one to six and write the words in the puzzle. You are given the first letters. So number one, a person in the past whose job was to copy out official documents. So yes, he's, he's called scribe, scribe. Two, a place of worship in ancient Egypt. A place of worship in ancient Egypt. It starts with T. So number two is temple. Temple is a place of worship in ancient Egypt. Number three, appropriate for a particular person, purpose, or situation. So it starts with the letter S. So it's what? It's suitable. Yes, suitable means appropriate for a particular person, purpose, or situation. Four, samples that represent words, syllables, or sounds, and were used for writing in ancient Egypt. So number four, the letters, it starts with H letter. So it's called what? Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics are symbols that represent words, syllables, or sounds and were, and were used for writing in ancient Egypt. Number five, a tall black plant that grows in water and was used for writing on. A tall plant that grows in water and was used for writing on. So it starts with P, the letter P. It's called papyrus. Yes, P A P Y R U S. Six, a person who delivers messages as a job. Yes, the person who delivers messages is called messenger. Messenger. So, number one, scribe. Number two, temple. Number three, Suitable, number four, hieroglyphics, number five, papyrus, number six, messenger, and number seven, the last one, what, what, is, what, what is the word? The word is communication 
or communicate, sorry. Communicate is the word number seven. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.